today we are going to make a vanilla mousse. This style and on glaze based mousse is probably one of my favorite structures and textures for a mousse when creating cut cakes and petite gâteaux. So it's really something I want you to learn so we can explore it more in the future too. So first we need to start with an on glaze. If you've never made an on glaze, we are basically going to make a pastry cream or a custard, but only cook it to a certain degree instead of until it is completely thickened like you would a pastry cream or custard. So first I have cream, whole milk, vanilla, and a small saucepan that I have my egg yolks and sugar in a small bowl. I also have some gelatin and depending on whether you are just putting this mousse into a verine or a cup to serve as it is, or if you want to use it as a molded cake or a cut cake, you may want to adjust the gelatin just a little bit. You can reduce it if it is not going to be a molded or cut cake since you won't need all of that stability. So I did bloom my gelatin in some cold water, then I'm going to set that off to the side as we prepare the unglaze. So I'll set my cream and milk mixture on about medium or medium low heat. I just want to bring this up to about a scald before I temper it into my egg yolk mixture. So I'm going to whisk the egg yolks and sugar really, really well in their small bowl until they are really completely and thoroughly combined. I wanna make sure especially all of the sugar uh, is absorbed into the liquid from the egg yolks before I temper in the hot Hot cream mixture. Then after giving this a really good stir, I'll transfer everything back into the saucepan. Now the reason I really love this as a base for so many mousse recipes, uh, for cut cakes, petit gâteau, entremet, is because, as you might imagine, you can play around with this unglazed portion so much, whether you are infusing it with things or swapping out some of the cream for other ingredients or flavors, and you can just take this in so many different directions, which is why I love this base recipe, and I really recommend it to be something that you learn and play around with as well in your kitchen. Though I will say even just the basic vanilla mousse is really incredible and delicious. So I highly recommend this, but as something to learn, I think it is really valuable as well. So just like making any anglaise or pastry cream, I'm going to stand here and whisk this continuously on about a medium low to low heat. And I am using a thermometer. You can use a probe thermometer, anything to measure the temperature, but the temperature is really key here. We want to take this anglaise up to about 83 degrees Celsius. At that point, the mixture will thicken slightly, but not completely. It won't be really thick and glossy. It will be more like uh, if you dip a spoon in here and pull your finger down the back of it, you will be able to see the track mark, that kind of a thick. So thicker than your regular cream or milk mixture, but not so thick as a pastry cream. So once I get this to about 83 degrees Celsius, everything will be fully cooked and I can pull it off of the heat. After I pull the anglaise off the heat, I'm going to add in the bloomed gelatin right away and give this a good stir. First with my whisk, just to make sure that everything is combined, the gelatin melts and dissolves into the anglaise. Then I'm going to switch over to my immersion blender. This is not 100% necessary, but I really highly recommend that you do this just because emulsifying the anglaise will help you get the creamiest, most decadent mousse 
later on and then I'm going to pour that into a larger wider bowl and let it cool down at room temperature while I whip up my cream. Just like making any mousse, you really want to have a, a whipped cream that is anywhere between a soft peak and kind of a medium peak. We do not want to cross over into the medium stiff or stiff category. So what I have here, it's still quite fluid. Now, once the anglaise cools down to a, kind of the low 30 degree celsius range anything from like 30 to 35 then i will start incorporating the whipped cream in several additions like most mousse recipes this one is no different you will want to first start out with a whisk as you incorporate the first portion of your whipped cream then as you go i really recommend switching over to a spatula so you can fold the later portions of cream you might want to go in about three or four additions until everything is completely incorporated and you don't see any streaks of the whipped cream in your mousse so this mousse, as you can see, it is lightening up in texture a lot. It looks so different from the anglaise we had when we pulled that off the heat earlier. And as soon as I get this final portion of cream mixed into the mousse, I'm going to transfer this into a piping bag and then I will add the mousse into my glass jars. I am just serving this mousse in glass jars, uh, but you can put this into ramekins or again, as I mentioned, this is amazing for a cut cake, petit gâteau entremet. So if you want to put this into a silicone mold or any other kind of container, absolutely go for it. This mousse, as I have it right now, uh, it does look a little bit on the liquid side. That's okay. That is completely normal. If you are especially building um, an entremet or something and you want it to be a little bit thicker, all you need to do is wait a little bit longer before you start incorporating in the whipped cream. Uh, and then the cooler anglaise will help you retain that sort of fluffier, more mousse-like texture. But I really like working with this mousse when it is in its more fluid state. So this was perfect. I am going to then get these cups into my refrigerator for several hours or you can leave them overnight before digging into it just to allow the gelatin to completely set up and it, look at that it looks incredible you can top this vanilla mousse with some fresh berries any kinds of fruit if you want to put like a citrus compote on the top of it or if you have like a fruit uh like a jam or anything like that if you have some crumble or little cookies pieces of chocolate honestly whatever you want it is so 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 easy to pair with so many different flavors but truly the texture is amazing i hope you give this recipe a try we are going to continue on with our mousse series if you missed the first basic chocolate mousse make sure to check that out and next we are going to explore a fruit and italian meringue based mousse so stay tuned for that as well until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.